Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's your boy Moist Mercenary, and I'm here today with a bit of a a little different idea. I decided to try and make not quite an evolution, but a variant. So I decided, what if we took Galaxy Pegasus, an okay Beyblade, not the best, not the worst, but as we know, Ching is the main protagonist of Beyblade. What if we made him the antagonist? That's right, I'm going to be making an evil variant of Pegasus, I guess you could say. Oops, the bad version. So let me show you how I'm going to accomplish that. First up, we have the face bowl. And to replace the face bowl, I'm actually going to use the black and green WBBA version of the Pegasus face bowl. I thought this fit pretty well with the theme. The black looks really nice. This is honestly one of my favorite colored or designed face bolts that I own at least. For the energy ring, we're gonna be switching from Pegasus 2 actually to the Nemesis energy ring or clear wheel. As you can see, Nemesis honestly does look kind of like a evil dark Pegasus as is, especially so you see the horse heads here, more closer to the um, cosmic Pegasus wheel or the Pegasus 3 wheel. If I grab that here, you can see it a bit more clearly resembles that version but i'm still gonna make this in correlation to the galaxy wheel following that we of course have the fusion wheel now galaxy is one of these tri-wing or tri-bladed wheels uh looks good but unfortunately it's too light and doesn't pack enough punch so we're gonna give it something that feels kind of like a direct upgrade to it in the nightmare wheel of course this isn't super meta or anything like that but i feel like the name fits for an evil pegasus i think nightmare pegasus sounds really cool and this actually has some pretty good attack potential behind it so that's why i chose the nightmare wheel i was originally going to choose hell but i feel like a nightmare the look the shape everything like that fits a bit better of course, the spin track, the wing 105, I'm going to replace it with downforce 105. I know the wings are now facing the opposite direction, but I feel like it. the extra couple grams of weight should be good. Along with the color will fit nicely overall. And for the tip, I'm going to be trading off R2F or LRF. If you didn't know, using the opposite spinning rubber tip, might actually be better for your competitive Beyblades as it's closer to the performance of a rubber flat. Uh, it's more like a in-between sort of of a rubber flat and the LRF or R2F, at least on a right spinning bay. For a left spinning bay, you would be using R2F to serve this purpose. Overall, it'll add some more stamina, but still give it more aggression than the RF overall. So then, here are both bays side by side, so you can get a good look of how they look together. As you can see, Nightmare Pegasus definitely does have a much darker, more menacing vibe to it than the Galaxy Pegasus. I can't wait to try them out, and I do already have my battles picked out that I would like to try out. There's going to be five this time, so this might be a bit of a longer video, but of course we're going to be doing Galaxy vs. Nightmare to see if it can beat the original, how it compares, all of that. We're going to be trying Ray Striker, as you know, Masamune and Chinga had a lot of scuffles in Metal Masters between Galaxies, Pegasus, and Ray Striker. So I want to see how Nightmare does against it. Next, we're having a pretty big jump as you're going to go head to head with Hell Kerbex here. Pretty good tank of a Beyblade, pretty solid stamina as well. Should be able to eat some hits pretty well from... Uh, Pegasus. Next we have Twisted Tempo. I was originally going to do Earth Eagle instead of Hell Kerbex, but when I decided to have Tempo, I figured, well, this is basically just an upgrade to Eagle in the sense that this is a way heavier wheel in the same bottom track. So this is going to be a challenge, but I'm going to do it anyways. Let's see how it fares. Then finally, we're going to have Meteo El Drago facing off against Pegasus. Just for that climactic Ryuga and Chinga battle, Ryuga is coming to say, I'm the main antagonist, not you, Chinga. So let me get these set up. Let's get ready. 
we'll see who the best Pegasus is in the first round. All right, so right away, whipping out the trusty double MFB launcher for the two attack types. Let's go. Three, two, one, let it eat. Ooh, looks like Galaxy Pegasus was actually able to get a knockout on Nightmare early on. Though it did feel like Nightmare didn't get as much of a good launch as Pegasus in that first go. So let's see if maybe round two he could do a little bit better. Galaxy definitely does have much more speed to it. Uh, it has much more aggression. Nightmare has a bit less of that aggression, but if it can stamp, use its stamina and time it out, it should be able to pull out a win. Either that, or it sneaks up from behind and get a knockout, or it counterattacks and gets that knockout. As we can see, the R2F is already going down quite quickly, while LRF is still going pretty strong. And yep, exactly as I thought, the stamina was much more in Nightmare Pegasus's favor. Alright guys, sorry for that quick cut, but I'm back. Let's continue the matches so far. So 1-1, one, one, let's see who gets the win. We're both of the bays racing around the stadium, managing to avoid contact, but it looks like Pegasus, or Galaxy Pegasus, jeez, I gotta specify, might have gotten a bit of a poor launch. Uh, Nightmare's probably gonna take this as well. It definitely was losing stamina much quicker than Nightmare. Yeah, and that's another W for Nightmare. Let's see. Round four. Dang, that was a crazy comeback from Pet Galaxy Pegasus. Leading to the score to be 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, that's 2-2. Two, two. And now winner takes all. We're seeing some more of that stamina from Nightmare being able to outspin Galaxy Pegasus. It looks like he can't quite knock out Galaxy Pegasus due to the speed difference, but he can certainly outspeed due to the stamina difference. Now, moving on, we're going to have it against Ray Striker. This time, I'm going to be pulling out the regular, reg just singular string launcher. Now, let's see. I do this if we're doing a more passive, non-aggressive bay against such an aggressive bay, because I will try and go for that flower pattern. When it's an attack type versus an attack type, I don't think the flower pattern is as important, because they're both going to be racing around the stadium trying to hit each other anyways. So, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Mm. Sorry, camera. Okay, a flower pattern would have been ideal, but it looks like we're not quite getting that, given this current circumstance. Striker definitely has the stamina to outspin however long it takes him. And that's not going to be very good for our boy Nightmare Pegasus. It's going to probably be outspun by Striker. It might have improved stamina, but RS or RF has the best stamina out of the rubber flats. And, you know, it might be better than R2F, but it's rubber, so it's not going to have great stamina to begin with. And geez, already seeing some great collisions, some high recoil, even with such drained stamina. If I could get the flower pattern, it's definitely going to be lights out for Ray Striker very quick. There's a beautiful knockout, but unfortunately, it was a double knockout there. Ray does have some excellent... Uh, recoil, that's the word, of its own. Uh, this is actually a Mold 1 Ray. I'm not sure how much I should be using this, but, you know, I'm going to keep using it. Oh, that was a very poor launch. I want to make it fair for both entries. Okay, that's not quite ideal. That one does not count. Let's go. So far, the score is still one two. Oh, and now it is 1-1 one, one with a tie. Let's see if, uh, well, not if, but who 
will take the lead in the next fight. Ooh, that was a crazy hit from Hexus to start, but he's going right for the tornado again. That's not going to go well for him. He's probably just going to get outspun once again. Maybe that big hit earlier was able to, you know, mess up Unicorno enough to wobble it, but I'm not sure how likely that is. It's probably just going to end up being another timeout by Ray Striker. Gotta love a Coach Shark. Coach Shark is one of the best performance tips in Metal Fight. Not quite the best, but it is up there. I'm not sure where I'd rank it, but it's definitely a top 10 in my opinion. It is definitely outclassed by something like an R2F. I haven't tested rubber semi-flat, so I can't say that for myself. Yeah, there we go. So, 2-1 for Striker. Ooh, a quick knockout for Nightmare. Evening out the store score again. Winner takes all this round. Ooh, oh god. Okay. Was not expecting that from Striker. Sometimes rubber or coat sharp just decides it wants to be aggressive whenever it decides to. Hey, it's doing it again. Let's just go. Ooh, and that led to its demise as it just got knocked out quickly by nightmare pegasus all right guys so we're back on a completely different day because i just forgot to finish the recording while i was recording it so i guess i'll just finish it now uh this is being recorded while i'm still sick from you know last unboxing i said i was sick uh so you know I decided, well, I probably shouldn't procrastinate too much on it, because then I'll just forget completely. So here we're going to go ahead and finish up all the battles and see how good Nightmare Pegasus is. All right, guys, let's see if Pegasus can handle uh, Hades Kerbex. Oh, Kerbex, depending on... Oh, shit. Yeah, that's the problem with this modded launcher. This can pop off sometimes. knockout from Pegasus sends Kerbex flying out of the stadium. Oh, and Pegasus is doing what I hate to see. Just going straight for the tornado stall. Couldn't quite maintain that uh, flower as I had hoped, but oh well. Hopefully something happens. Dang, he really does hit pretty hard despite being so light in comparison. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Had to cut, cut real quick because I was getting a call. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue the battle. Dang, an explosive knockout from Pegasus since Kerbeck's flying. Let's see if he could recreate that and keep his win streak. Okay, not like that you want. Again, my rule is that they have to make contact before I consider it a win or loss. So KOs without contact do not mean shit. And we know how this is going to go. I don't think I want to make you sit through this because we know Pegasus is just going to lose here. Most likely. Yeah, no, I have no hope for Pegasus in this Time for that final tiebreaker. Let's see which bay is going to take this battle. Wow, what the heck? Okay, well, it looks like Pegasus just kindly redirected Kerbex out of the stadium, taking its win and maintaining its win streak. It's currently at 3-0 all across the board. Uh... Now I guess it's time for the tempo fights. Let's get into it.
So, I forgot to hit record on the tempo battles, so here we are. Uh, the score is 1-1 one, one actually, but I'm probably not going to count it because it wasn't on camera. I'm sure you'd rather let the bass speak for themselves. Yeah, so this is just going to count as 1-0 because the other two fights were not recorded. Pegasus is very capable of getting a knockout on tempo, but just not in that match. It's alright. It happens. Oh, okay. Alright. We know how this one's going to end. So I'm just going to stop it there. That's going to be Pegasus' loss. So that's going to make it a 2-0. Would have been a 3-0 on Pegasus' first loss if I didn't forget to hit record. But I did. So now let's see if Pegasus can make a comeback. Sorry for the sniffling. I can't help it. It's just the reflex. Holy sweet fucking Jesus. Okay. Uh, that is now a 2-1. Let's see if Pegasus really does make that comeback. Pegasus did not make the comeback. I guess that just means it's time for the Media Wall Drago fight, but wait a minute. You thought we were just gonna do regular Media Wall Drago? Aw, oh, hell nah. I made the good Media. Well, this looks pretty evil to me because it's all red, but it's the best I could do. I tried to make a good Media to kind of go with the good or evil Pegasus, or a good El Drago. So this is Rush. Uh, I decided to go a more balanced route, as you could see here with the RDF. RDF is really good in opposite spin combos, or battles. So this should be a pretty good matchup. I can't wait to see how it goes. I do need to grab my left launcher, though. Let's see. Can me can Nightmare handle this? Or oh, that was a bad launch. Can Nightmare handle this, or will Media win? Dang, these launchers are so much weaker than the burst launchers. I really need to get one of these for left spin. Well, maybe two. Maybe I just need to replace this with like, the Varieries thing, or I'll do that with the DB launchers whenever I get those. Here we saw a good example of medial spin steel capabilities in the opposite spin combos with RDF. Okay, there we go. That was a good launch. Dang, that was a crazy collision. There's some crazy hits going on here. So this combo was kind of made specifically to counter Pegasus. So, if he loses, then yikes. And it looks like, oh dang, that spin steel goes crazy on this bay. That should have been a loss, but that ended up a tie. That is crazy. If it was just a rubber sharp or a rubber flat or something like that, then Media would have simply lost. This Media combo might be really light, but it's actually pretty good and delivers some solid counter attacks. Also, I just realized the other Media was just chilling right here. Oops, sorry, Battle. And that's another win for Media, so the score is currently 2-0. Okay, no contact, no win. Okay, I failed to flower, so uh, yikes. Let me retry that. Let me actually try and get the flower pattern. Dang, uh... I have to rewatch that, but I think Media might have flung out first. Let me check. All right, I was correct. Pegasus stayed in for like a split second longer, making the score 2 1, unless I'm just bad at looking at tapes. In which case, yikes. But 
let's go. Let's see if Pegasus can make a comeback or if Mugio is just the best. He's not gonna make a comeback like that now, alright? Oh shit, I'm stupid. I tried to launch him in before Medio flung himself out, but unfortunately that was not possible. Dang, those hits are crazy hard. Dang. Oh, wow. Pegasus actually does get another knockout. Let's see. There's currently tied up now. Let's see if we can win with Medio or if Pegasus reigns supreme. That's so weird to switch it up like that. Okay, there was contact, unfortunately, so that match ends in Medio's favor, meaning that it's a 3-2 Medio wins. But I'm sure you might still want to see this Pegasus against regular original Medio. So let me deliver on that. Some crazy collisions here from two very rapid bays. Pegasus does get the win there though. Oh, I have to go now. Alright guys, last time we ended with a 1-0. Uh, it is another day again. As you can see, I don't have my hoodie anymore. But... And that's a quick knockout for Medio. Flying, but not enough to be knocked out, and it looks like he's probably going to win via stamina here. The spin stealing is pretty powerful. I don't see a way for Pegasus to win at this point, especially being drained so much by Medio spin stealing. Yep. Let's see. Can Pegasus make a comeback, or will Medio just steal this? <laughs> So there's a 2-0. This is going to be the final battle and a tiebreaker. Let's see if Pegasus can win or El Drago is supreme. I think I made that joke already. I think I made a lot of jokes already, but I still say them anyways. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if that was just a bad launch or if Meteo hit there, but I'm going to just redo that battle. Like this is gonna be a medio battle a, a win again considering it's going to stamina pegasus was not quite able to get that good knockout and yeah that's it pegasus with a 50 percent win streak he wins some you lose some spin stealing is kind of his major weakness and a really heavy tank but that's to be expected with the nightmare wheels this is not amazing for attack or anything like that let me know what you guys thought of my good and evil uh, Lil Drago and Pegasus, if Chinka was the villain and if Ryuga was the hero. Tell me what you think, and I'll see you guys next time. Maybe I'll try some evolutions to these. Maybe I'll try, you know, just other what if they were evil, what if they were good type combos. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. I have a... I guess I'll drop a teaser for the light, uh, not the light one, the next video. Shoot, I guess that spoils it. My next combo is going to be the lightest combo that I can personally make with the parts that I have. Uh, and soon I will make the heaviest as well, but first comes the light one because I think it'll be funny. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.